now it's four so we'll start i just wanted to start at four because i know i don't want to have the persons who have uh, joined punctually to wait uh, thank you thank you everyone for joining thank you kitna uh, uh, yeah. so this is uh, what uh, this is a session uh, which uh, which we are using so i am also a business one user so we wanted to show how this can work for business one this is a topic which helped us a lot so uh, we wanted to show how uh, how you know how how this is helping us so it, you know uh, this should help all of you as well so um, so i'll i'll go into the agenda what uh, what we wanted to show is uh, just not uh, the configurations and uh, sap uh, you know how to run what we wanted to show is what was what was we were de what were what were we doing before and uh, what is our current uh, practices so how we how we migrated from the old practice to the new practice because it is just not the tools it is just not the uh, you know this is just not sap business one sap business one we all know sap business one you can just run reports but there's a lot of uh, uh, practices which we have to undo implement new practices to get to this uh, running this report effectively so i wanted to uh, tell you what challenges we faced as an you know uh, different organizations face different challenges so for us uh, what were the challenges we faced and how we uh, how we uh, you know how we uh, how we came across and uh, did this uh, cash flow in b1 so there's nothing you know everything is part of business one there's no customization and nothing which is needed uh, on top of it it is just a few settings uh, which uh, which uh, you know which we have also share a document how to do okay. so what is the challenge in transition and i will also show what we did what we have to you know how we can run in b1 and what are the different options you can run in business one you know for cash flow report and then uh, in this process there is also an application which helped us so i i, I wanted to uh, you know share a uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, with my team or you know who can show you what what we did in terms of collection now when you say cash flow it is more about collection and payments right so i'll cover the payments part my team will cover the collections part then uh, and then we'll have a q and a session on how this can uh, help your organization now you you know uh, what uh, this is about how it has helped avanico your challenges will be different but based on my thought process or my you know thinking uh, i think you know this can help uh, most of the organizations you know except except that you know we have to follow strict discipline and processes and dates inside the system and, you know in you know in q and a we can you know discuss that and then we'll have a poll for the next session you know uh, what can be the topic or what is the topic you know which uh, uh, which you will be interested in so we can cover that topic in the next month uh, this is uh, this is about the agenda so i i know in the left side you see the amenico's old practices and you know, how we used how we used to do that is excel and then you know on the right side uh, we used to, you know we 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 did this so, so this has been a practice for almost uh, the one and a half years like three months for four months before you no know, one and a half years we've been doing this excel practice before that it was all intuition and you know, it was mind i asked the accounting team to transfer funds you now we take it back to ft you know all that was manual but now we had this uh, excel practice for almost a year half one year and a half so you can see that uh, you can see on the left side there is a estimate column which which is what you know we do for six months and then uh, we have a opening balance this is my cash opening balance as per the estimated opening balance so uh, so this is you know uh, and then what will be my collections uh, during the month you know what is the international receipts and what are the uh, what are the payments so this is more of a estimate for the future months so what i used to do is you know i go into negative uh, you know what happens is you know the closing negative so wherever there is closing negative then there is need for funds right whenever there is surplus we never care it is you know it is always consumed but whenever there is shortage you know it is uh, it is where you know we always look into it so i i used to look into this negative columns based on this particular report so what has happened is i'll also go today what we do is you know there is a cash flow report in sap this is this is from sap where it will show me uh, how much is my november uh, requirement how much is my december requirement these are data which is fed into sap i'll show you what are the options available in sap to run this report right so i'll i'll get there but before that i wanted to tell what were the challenges for us to get there it's not that you know it was easy right uh, you know then this we did for one one and a half years and that gave us more clarity on how to do this so so this is uh, what we have but all the all the payments and all the receipts are there right so this is the forecast so cash flow we can split it into two things one is forecast and what is actually happened right one is postpartum and the other one is the forecast so the uh, the cash flow actuals you can see the next column right is where we put the actual so i me and our accounting team will have a meeting every friday 
to to update this column you know so first month you know we would have collected 10 lakhs this, sorry first week you would have collected 10 lakhs next week we would have collected 10 lakhs and then you know there is international receipts these these are these are sap payments the actual challenge uh, comes for us when uh, what happens is you know we 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 have to pay sap sometimes we use that funds in the payroll right and then and then you know uh, and the vice versa sometimes you know we use uh, payroll uh, to pay sap so so actually this was this was creating a lot of confusion you know? so what i what i did actually asked the team is to put the sap receipt separately and sap payment separately so that way we will know that you know what is what is that we have to pay to sap what how much we have collected from sap so it gives me clarity so this report uh, actual report is now con is, is this is also you can see the same thing at a high level or the same levels, you know, because we, there was a lot of uh, one-time payments, you know, we, we we give bonuses at one time. There was, you know, CapEx went, all that we have we have put as asset purchases, you know, that we have reduced in the cash flow actual. So this is also from SAP. So this Excel file is now converted into SAP as a cash flow report and statement of cash flows report, which I will run uh, and then, you know, we'll execute also from SAP and show you uh, how, how you can get that from SAP. So for cash flow planning, there's no need, there's no need for configuration except that our data has to be clean, like you know, due dates and all that has to be clean, right? We, we also have tips for that. For cash flow actuals, there needs to be some configuration for which we'll also share a documentation, uh, which you know, which which can help you what configuration has to be done. Uh, try it in the test database, but it's it's a very a simple uh, document, you know. We have we have detailedly done. You know? I don't want to go into configuration and say this because uh, it will be easier for you to see the report and then, you know, uh, do the configuration based on the uh, document which we share. So this is our, uh, so this is our old practice, this is our new practice. I wanted to, you know, actually it is, uh, yeah, so uh, the old practices, these are, you know, I wanted to tell you before challenges, what is our, uh, what is our, uh, you know how 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 we make payments and then you know and then we go into collections right so uh so that it, you know our uh as you know we are a it uh you know uh, consulting uh services company you know 60 to 70 percent of our uh, uh cost is payroll right so it's it's an easy part of it monthly payroll you know we check the funds every week and then you know we, we collect the funds we do the payroll the the troublesome part is you know making payments to sap you know there is this vendor payments you know uh there's there's a lot of uh uh, other vendors, you know, whom, whom we decide, you know, a lot of times I am the uh, creator of the problem, you know, I, I say let's buy a video conferencing system or let's buy laptops, uh, desktops, you know, uh, like I create a lot of uh, expenses without even tracking it, right? So what happened is uh, you know, then, then we have to make the payment, you know, then we have to you know, do this uh, daily payments was always a challenge, right? Like, you know, because we have to collect and pay. So these are three, you know, or four challenges, which I would say, uh, which is, which this SAP system has eliminated once what happened is during COVID, I'm, you know, I see there is a profit of uh, probably 90 lakhs in the book, you know, in the RPNL, there was 90 lakhs, but then there was no cash. So what I asked my, you know, my friend who is a chartered accountant, you know, he's also, uh, he, you know, he, he's, he, he's, he was doing audit. I was asking him, uh, I don't see the funds, you know, I do not, I feel there is some, some mistake in accounting or whatever it is. Uh, I want him to review. And then he did a cash flow. What, what, what we realized is, you know, there's a lot of, lot of amount sitting in the task. And there is some amount we, which we have to write off as bad debts, right? Like, you know, that is, that has created the problem, but then there is actually cash. So a lot of times we, we don't know, uh, or, you know, we don't know where is cash is utilized. This cash flow report will help you get there, you know, we'll, we'll get there. So our challenge is what we asked is, you know, as I already told you, we use SAP funds. So a lot of times what happens is, you know, we have to pay GST, there's no funds. You know, we, uh, you know, a lot of employees uh, doesn't have a, you know, employees used to claim, uh, frequently you know asset purchases you know, we didn't allocate funds on that so with this excel we eliminated to an extent because you know the excel had excel i would uh, you know what happened is you know there was this uh, microsoft payments which we have to make there's a lot of other payments so we went to march month or june month and put it there so by june by uh, may we know that you know in july this is coming so that excel eliminated it to an extent but then uh, what we thought is you know why why excel you know maintaining excel was always a challenge you know i have to you know that needs to be updated we have to have i know we have to apply mine so now we have moved everything to sap right the 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 other big challenge one is the payments you know which is erratic the other big challenge was uh collections you know uh the team the team keep uh keep saying we collect we collect we, you know there's no payments and then we, we cannot make the payment so that is uh, something uh you know which uh which we have a, we have we, we implemented a simple mobile app you know which which eliminated a lot of issues uh where it helped us manage the due date you know i i lab my team show that uh, to you so these are these are the challenges so 
I wanted to tell you how it's more of process, not just tools. So what what we did is uh, in the fund requirements, what what we did first is you know we made it as a Thursday payments weekly. So every every Thursday only the payments go. You know I I get a statement on Wednesday. I approve it and then it makes. There's no other payments. Initially it was very challenging. You know my team I had to adapt. Nobody you know they wanted to make SAP payments immediately because you know when we collect the payment. But now the team has changed themselves. They, they what they do is they go into the SAP's portal, load the order on. Tuesday so that we make the payments on Thursday. They don't go back and forth. You know, sometimes, you know, every time they become urgent, you know, there's advanced requests and all that got, got used to, you know, now there is only one week payment, but then for that week also, now our accounting team knows that this is what I have to make. If not, they tell the team that, you know, we cannot make it now. So you tell the vendor that, you know, wait for next week. You know, because because also vendor also knows now. Like you know, there are there are vendors who, who submits before the, you know, before before that uh, timelines, you know. So vendors also is known known now so you know sap sap payments was, was a big challenge now you know it's good that we came so and also it, it helped a lot of uh, my accounts uh time where you know uh, instead of doing all this you know they do once a week but i am not saying this is going to be helpful for everyone because i know and everybody has a different challenge you know some make payment daily but there is also you know this is also possible uh to an extent but you know when where there is a will there is a way you know it was initially a chaotic uh, challenge also also for us employee expenses claim also is uh, you know as made monthly so there's no there's no claim which is uh, which is uh, recurring now we create POS to vendor so so in the cash flow forecast in sap i you know we will know uh, we will know that you know when when the payment is due so i'll also show that like you know in which month we need right instead of instead of us having it in excel we we moved as po but we just have to maintain the due date properly that was that was another challenge you know where we have to change the team but once you get into the rhythm it is very easy you know then then po to sap also we create you know a lot of times uh, no team has got into them, so we can manage that. Collections, I, I will, you know, I'll have the team show after after I show B1, you know, how we don't want, you know, it's a big product. We want to, we don't want to show all the product. For the cash flow, whatever is useful, you know, we'll show that piece as well. So this is about our challenges and how 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 we overcome that. Right. So I'll go into SAP and show you how uh, how how I can, you know, the reports what I show, how we can execute an SAP. Right uh i am uh one minute so right i i, I think you can see my uh, sap screen a team no Anand. i oh, think i can minute. just see uh, your yeah sure i'll i'll share my desktop can you see my screen now sap yes okay so so there are two reports uh one is called cash flow report it is in your financial sections you have uh, cash flow uh, so this is the cash flow report you can run now but as you run now you know this this was there in sap forever we never uh, we never uh, used it effectively but then this was there forever we can you know we just have to make certain ledgers cash flow relevant so uh, only thing is you know you just have to make you know uh, make it as a cash account and from that account it will list all the accounts which is which is relevant for cash flows here right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run from today to show uh, what is the fund requirement till day, you know, till the month end, right? Like, you know, uh, I'll just do 30, uh, 11, right? For the next six months, uh, so next six days, right? So here you can see I've done my monthly payroll. So you, here, the lot of things SAP has already, but there are certain uh, projections which you have to do, right? You know, I, I, I can also create this as a journal and keep it as a provisional journal and, and see it. But what I do is, you know, I, I, I do this practice, right? Like, you know, so I know when we, we do increase in payroll once in six months. So I know for the next six months, it's not going to change. So I, I put that amount as the cash flow, which, which we are going to make. And this is new projects. Let's say that, you know, the incoming is uh, the proposal, you know, uh, what I'm, what we are expecting in the next six days. Uh, we you know we are going to sign new projects which is uh, which will come in as an additional cash right and for the next month you know uh, on 19th you know this is on 19th right so i can also put the dates you know i i, I will need tax liability you know for the for the billing so i put these uh, uh, things here and i can also select uh, you know your pos ap's ar invoices to show uh, whether what is uh, what is you know what i have to show so now I know my opening cash or current cash I know is close to twenty lakhs, or twenty uh, lakhs. Uh, I don't I don't know the exact number. You know I'll have to look into it, but it is close to twenty or twenty five lakhs or uh, something. So now my system or SAP is showing it because I did for only seven days, so it is picking till eleventh, and it is going to show it is showing me that I I know if I bring in twelve lakhs cash or you know the new projects are signed, 
and this is uh, this is uh, 38 lakhs is uh, payment which we have to make and this is data as you know this is coming from our uh, application these are the these are the uh, these are not uh, these are not regular due dates it's not like you know we we build invoice and we collect the due date so these are customer commitments or you know customer promise date which are which are team votes right so now i you know now i can see the same report here you know so my my cash closing as of month end will be 229000 right so this is this is this is this is a part of it but what i can also do is you know i can change it to weekly to see weekly uh, cash flow so it will consider my uh, all all my commitments in terms of po all my uh, all my you know collections also uh, all this is possible only when we manage the dates properly you know we have to manage the po due dates you know uh, invoices due date effectively if that is not possible you can just add as a rough line here you know i am going to plan uh, you know a 10 lakh collection daily right or, or a two crore i mean depending on your volume you can always increase and uh, decrease there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of other options also you know you can add your journal vouchers and all. so what i'm going to do do is also i'm, I'm just going to do one uh, from 112 because the next from starting to 313 yeah 31 3 24 right i i now know that you know the cash uh, the cash uh, the opening cash was 2 lakhs because you know when i saw the uh, data the the opening cash was 2 lakhs so i put 2 lakhs here right but my payroll is monthly but this i have put one time this is not you know uh, this can also be recurring because every month we sign projects but i put this one time but when i get okay now what system does is uh, it calculates for the next months and it says you know by uh, by five february i will run out of cash and by march i will need an additional five lakhs right so but i think it is not uh, actually march is wrong i i don't i think because you know it is not it is not bringing the full credit uh i'll have to check why yeah, okay so here you see the valid until date is wrong so i can i can also make this as uh, 31st march so now now you know so i'll need 45 lakhs cash in march i mean this is just to give you a overview of how how this can go detailed you know this can be weekly uh, daily and if you want to include po so you can see here uh, it shows my uh, it shows your customer liability or how much you have to collect so uh, this is uh, 10 lakhs is uh, what needs to be collected no it's i think it's it's, it's some there's something which is uh, wrong here right uh, so but all, all this will uh, work uh, correctly at um, so this one you can see that you know these are the collections which we have to make on different dates right like you know so based on the due dates which which the team has promised you know you can collect so i can also add uh, i can also add a vendor po so if i click po you can see my based on the po's my collection you know increased you know though my my outstanding increased or my cash flow negative grows, right? So this is how you can do the cash flow forecast. There, are, you know, you can start to use it, but it is all based on the due dates. You, first, you have to you have to start to uh, run reports to see how it, how it is working, and then you can change, right? And and based on this opening balance, you can you can change the opening balance. You can change the ledgers. You know, uh, all this uh, can be done. You can delete. You can add multiple rows here, right? So this is about the cash flow planning. There is a cash flow. Uh, there is a cash flow report, right? So this is a report. Uh, this is again, you know, according to accounting standards, this can be run. So SAP gives a default template when you've done a default cash flow report. So I'm, I'm, what I've done is I've done October month, right? And comparative November month. So when I do this, I get the uh, accounting standard uh, cash flow, you know, operating activities, investing activities. We just have to uh, redesign this. Uh, 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 it is there in the document which you're going to show uh, share. You know, we'll, we have we have we have done a blog which we will share. So you can do that. What what I would like to see is you know not this one because you see my Excel had only ten. 10, 10 buckets I wanted to see. So what we have, what I have done here is, you know, we have an Amenico method, right? So where I can see where is my cash coming and where it is utilized, right? So when I see here, uh, you can see here, uh, so this is my previous month, uh, September month. I have received 33 lakhs in uh, domestic collections. I have received 4 lakhs from for SAP. This is for SAP, which I have to pay. So I've, I've differentiated it. And, uh, and uh, uh, we'll take questions uh, at the end. So, uh, 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 there is, uh, you know, what happened is, you know, you can see that, you know, we, we invested a crore, uh, one crore in, into the fixed deposit. And these are our payments, what we made, like uh, to the vendors, to employee, you know, sometimes employee take loan, 
we pay them loans you know so these are these are not something which which we can plan you know but but what now our employees knows you know there is thursday disbursement or we tell them one month up, up front you know this one this is when we are going to pay there is asset purchases and the same way you can see there in the next month there is domestic credit 37 lakhs so the here net negative because we have invested in fd you know we have invested in fd but here it is positive but still you can see that you know i have collected sap payment now you know i have to pay to sap it is not something which, which is needed for which is which is avanico's fund because it's not an internal generated this is by sap but now you know we'll we'll bring back the fd and you know uh, settle this but this gives me clarity as you know what i have done uh, what, where the funds have gone or where the funds have been used right so this is about uh, this is what i wanted to show i will will take more uh, questions after we see uh, the team's uh, collection you know application all right thank you know, over to you ranjit okay thank you anand uh, good evening team so you can hear my voice audible right so i'll share my screen anand yes so uh, yes ranjit probably you can show the application ranjit uh, i'm sorry i'll talk i'll talk this through right the due date uh, process yes um, ranjit you go to the application ranjit so okay okay you can see uh, my screen right these four points i'll i'll talk through these four points yes ranjit okay okay so this is the buddy collects uh, dashboard screen no, it's a web application you're not able to see your screen sorry uh, should i yeah. no no i'm just sharing it again anna okay no actually there was an option it asked whether it's a multi a multiple person has to share a single person has to share i do not know what i selected you were able to share ranjit can you try now can you able to see my now screen no no ranjit we are able to see screen can you change him to co-host uh, can you share now ranjit sorry sorry uh, sorry for the uh... okay i'll share it okay Right. So actually, you know, while while Ranjit is trying to share, what happens is uh, usually due dates are very challenging. You know, my team, you know, says you know there are pos there are there are very positive persons who says that no, I'll collect now, but then no, it never comes. There there are very pessimistic person who never says you know it, you know then they it it is always challenging, right? So what what we did is from this app, you know. There is this is not a follow up date. There is a promise date. Only when they see the customer has committed the payment, they update. You know they confirm this as a com confirmed date, and that goes into the SAP's invoice as due date automatically, and then that comes into the cash flow report. So so you know that is what we wanted. You know I wanted to show, but uh, Ranjit, uh, you can you can try in the meanwhile sharing, right? So that 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 helped us a lot because you know then uh, earlier then you know we used to have a big Excel file where the team was uh, you know we used to have a monthly meeting whenever there is a cash shortage and then you know i had to have the all the sales team sit and then ask you know why this collection but now they have it in the mobile they check they update the due date now i know if there is any shortage then we discuss that right like it it become handy on their hands there is one other challenge which everyone you, i think will have is the unadjusted credit my my accounting team never adjusts the advances to the invoices then you know the sales team is never clear now now they have it on the hand they know that this advance is not adjusted they follow up and then you know this is for different reasons tds and all that reasons it is never adjusted so this this gets adjusted automatically and whenever i see the uh, outstanding i also have it in my app mobile so you know whenever i see that it's uh, it's easier to uh, you know it's easier you know so there's no unadjusted credit because it had became it it became a app so as i already told you the whole manual process is it okay i have to stop my screen sorry i think it's because i'm uh, sharing my screen uh, it's not uh, how to pause share stop sharing this so pause share yeah can you share now uh, ranjit is it uh, so i no. just waste time so i'm i'm moving on so the clearing the unadjusted credit was a big challenge now now it is not there like you know the, all these all these credits is not uh, uh, there anymore maybe you you are able to share ranjit or no 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 now yeah. try now sorry i i i pass sharing i didn't uh, stop sharing sorry okay so this is the this is the application this is also have a mobile front and uh, this also have a mobile uh, usage can you go to the due date ranjit and just show quickly we don't want to uh, you know we wanted to, we don't want to do a a demo of the application we just wanted to show where it helped avnico right so, no ranjit uh, your your screen left uh, ranjit it's not there 
you're going to share again. So let you know till the time when uh, Ranjit is uh, sharing, I'm going to continue with the other points. So the the unadjusted credits was always a big challenge for me, you know, to understand the total clear data, right? Now, uh, now that you know, as as we know that the team is, uh, as you know, it 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 is just because of the transparency to the team, the accounting team has to be has to has to keep in pace. So that has that has created a lot of clarity amongst the team. You know, it's not, you know, it was it was it is just it is just that you know the small uh, small availability of information made a lot of difference, right? So there's no there's very little unadjusted credits now in the in the books because you know we know that uh, anybody can see it now, right? Yes, Ranjit. So uh, let him go into the. Uh, so this is an application where you can see the outstanding, overdue, and all. This is a demo system. What, uh, by the way, whatever I showed you was Avanico's live system. So it's not that uh, you know all that all those were live data. Uh, so so you know you can be confident that it has been used in this you know used in the uh, used in Avanico. Right. Uh, so here, what our team does is, you know, this is we don't want to show the uh, mobile because it's very small. Our team, what 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 they do is they go into the invoices. Uh, yes, Ranjit, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Uh, to a particular customer, and then they can change the uh, promise today. So what one one chance or one thing what what I decided is, you know, why maintain the due date when it is not coming? So the promise to date becomes the due date in the invoice itself. So that is the call which which. I took. I do not know. You know, uh, uh, as a as an as a as a you know, as an organization, if you want to take the call. So the system is not system keeps track of the old due date, but this this whole this supersedes it because this comes into the cash flow report, right? So whenever they change this uh, by by employee, you know, all my team, whenever they change it, it, it updates my uh, cash flow report also. This is one thing. So the unadjusted credits become less. Uh, Ranjit, can you go to the PPT? Uh, the unadjusted. Uh, that was a big challenge for me, you know, to to have a clarity, you know, where you get you get you have seventy lakhs uh, outstanding, but then but then, but then you collect only ten lakhs, right? Or or this. So that is that is one thing. And then the Excel was a was a big, uh, you know. Now we don't have Excel, you know. That's uh, you know. But to implement this, uh, you know, I had to I had to chase this team, you know, sit uh, sit with the team. We we spent quite at least two three months. Making the team use buddy collect, you no, know, the, the application because you know I have to I have the Excel file, I have to show this, make make sure they get to it. But now it's all easy. And then one more challenge what we had is you know we can mark this dispute invoices. You know a lot of times uh, I you know we see a we see a seventy lakh eighty lakh outstanding, but then ten lakhs in that is a dispute where. Uh, I think there is a echo. I think you know. Uh, then what we what in that you have a dispute mark. Once you dispute it, it reduces from data. So you know that this is not going to be collected. So that is that is also there. So these are these are different. Uh, and there's there's enough there. You know, there are a lot of customers uh, using it in a different perspective. I don't want to get into all that. So this is about how how we are managing our cash flows with SAP Business One and this tool. But again, what I have to repeat is uh, it's more about the processes. Which which needs to be followed or process which we implemented then then because you know SAP has all the due dates and dates everything you know you just we just have to make sure that the cash flow uh, reports and the cash flow statement is is run properly right I think I think uh, that's all we have uh, and then then we have a Q and A and probably we'll we'll you know I know this is this is taken uh, uh, we didn't plan well you know we we thought it's a we should have planned for a 45 minute session we plan for a 30 minute session uh, from next time you know we'll do that uh, we'll 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 plan for the time better right